But yeah, Bud Light thinks you're dumb, right? That's the reality of this. They're going to keep playing these games with commercials and ads and sponsorship deals. They're going to play both sides. They're going to think you're going to give up. You're not going to care. Look, they're actually scared about this boycott. Whether or not they want to acknowledge it or admit it, they're making moves to try to stop it. There are, there are power. There is power. Sorry. There is power in the average person right there is power we have the ability to make moves in markets by how we spend our money what we choose to buy it affects things like if you don't like walmart i'm not I'm trying to bash walmart it's nothing about walmart but i'm just saying like some people i remember when i was growing up the big thing was bash walmart walmart is terrible if people really didn't want these companies your walmart your amazon your apples to exist then it's simple solution. Stop buying their stuff. Stop buying their stuff. Look, look, I'm going to get it straight with you, right? They only survive because you give them money. If you did not give them money, they wouldn't be around. It doesn't matter how much government regulation. Up until the point where the government forces you to buy their product. I mean, you have the ability to make a market move. We just don't use that power. We just sit back on our hands and think that everything's going to be taken care of. And other people are going to deal with the problem. No, it's not the case. Look, you can do things to mess with them. There's ways the algorithm needs you. I'm doing it right now whether or not you realize it. There's one thing going on in this video that is triggering the algorithm to make it okay for me to talk about this, right? And it's very simple. It's very simple. Guys, they have you trapped. We have to think outside of this box. We have to get out of this illusion. The only way to truly see is by the word of God, right? If you're not following the word of God, and you're living a worldly life, right? Like you're following the ways of the world. You're living off the world's wisdom. I had somebody tell me the other day, this is a very interesting person. He said, rules are for the, what is it? Rules aren't for strict adherence. There it is. Rules aren't for strict adherence, but for the advisement of wise men. You get what I'm saying? Like we're in a situation right now where we're at a war. Whether or not you choose to rise, it is a spiritual war. It's a mental battle. Every day, there's people waging this war by what they feed themselves, by what they pay, what they buy, what they create into this world. You're fighting that war. If you don't choose to acknowledge this war quickly, you're going to lose sight of the battle. You're going to you're gonna be caught up in a place where you're caught unawares, right? Scripture talks about that. I, I want you guys to start to open up, right? I want I want you posting scripture in these videos telling me where I might be not seeing something because that's the kind of environment that I want because I know that's going to breed the change in this world. If we just sit on our hands every day and do nothing to bring change, right? Like to bring godly change into our lives and the things that we are doing, it's going to keep getting worse. Our environment is going to keep degrading and decaying. Look, Revelation's coming, right? The end of days is here, but what we're living through is a direct result of our actions. It didn't have to happen. Even Adam, Adam and Eve, sorry, didn't have to be kicked from the garden. They made a choice, right? God knew their choice ahead of time, but it didn't have to be that way. This is the point. Every prophet came and said, turn from your ways and you will be saved. But God knew they wouldn't. He already ordained destruction on them because he knew they wouldn't. He just gave them the opportunity. We have to understand this, right? We can live a life that's truly dedicated to the Lord and free from these things. You just have to focus. I want to thank you guys for joining, please. And and, and just keep checking in because we're going to feed it to you straight. And if we're not, I want you to keep it straight on me. I love these comments. It's been great experiencing all this. I, I want you guys to still engage, but I want to see some verses in there. I want to see some people. If you're about this, I want to see verses. Thank you, guys. Now, have a blessed day.